Tempe, Arizona. Welcome to the world famous improv. Give yourself a round of applause for coming out tonight. Oh, come on, Tempe, you can do better than that. Are you ready for Jeff? Oh! Teachers don't like class clowns. And I'll tell you why. Because class clowns are better at classroom management <laughs> than teachers are. A class clown, anytime he wants, can get the attention of the class. Teachers would die to have that ability. It took me seven years to get my degree. And my degree was in film studies. And when I graduated, my wife, she asked me, what are you going to do with film studies? And I'm like, I don't know. There's got to be someone that's going to hire someone that watches movies. I can analyze movies. There are no jobs. So I ended up working at Lens Crafters in the mall. And this 22-year-old kid was my manager, and he was telling me that I was a loser and that I need to get my stuff together. So I got fired because I let him have it in the middle of the store. I spent the next six years trying to be a filmmaker. And uh, about six, yeah, six years later, my wife, she says to me, you remember that time when we got married? Mm. Yeah. We, we agreed we were going to have kids. And I said, yeah, we'll do that in a couple years. And she said, you said that a couple years ago. And I said, okay, in a couple years I'll be ready. And she said, I'm ready now. So she said, you need to get serious and get a job that's secure and stable. And I said, okay, what can I be? And of course, the stupidest thought came to my mind. How about a teacher? So I enrolled in a master's degree, and a year and a half later, and $30,000 more in debt, I had a piece of paper that said I could be a teacher. Now, there's two things I learned in my, in my college for becoming a teacher. One was the classroom is a jungle, and if you don't have specific places to put homework and specific places and, and a plan for students to move within the classroom, they're going to bump into each other, and they're going to get hurt. So what you need to do is you need to have arrows, a map with arrows that show you, show the kids how to get to the homework, how to get back to their seats. And I'm thinking, seriously? I never followed that advice. But the second thing they taught me was come up with a, a behavioral plan. Because inevitably, you're going to have students that are going to misbehave in class. I'm like, that's easy. I was a kid that misbehaved in class. So I'm going to do what they did to me. They're, I'm going to ask them to stop talking. Then I'm going to ask them again. And then I'm going to take them outside and have a polite conversation. And then I might have to call the parents. And then I'm going to have to send them to the principal. And then they're going to get suspended and hopefully expelled. <laughs> I suffered through my first year of teaching. And I was so bad at teaching, they closed the school at the end of the year. <laughs> they said, nope, we're done. <laughs> 